you can see guys, look who we've managed to find, little Shongile, who is now stalking through the grass. Now I wonder if she's hunting these impalas. So I'm just going to turn my light off for a little bit. I know it's really not easy to see, but the impalas were right here. It's the same impalas that we were just trying to drive through and out of the bush popped this little leopard. So is watching exactly what was going on. Now unfortunately we haven't got our infrared set up yet, which is not ideal. Now I'm just going to see if she's going to come across the road because she should pop out right in front of us on the road. Now I'll try and just see if she's going to stay there. It looks like she's just sat down behind that bush. So she's going to use the darkness there. There she goes. Look at how she's leopard crawling. Now I wonder, is this not... No, it is Shungila. It looks like Shungila. I might be wrong though for those of you who are out there. Hashtag Safari Live. So jean is going to put it into IR on the camera just to see if we get a bit more light on it. Now, like I say, it does look like Shungile. But I might be wrong. So for those of you who are watching, hashtag Safari Live if you know exactly who this is. But isn't this amazing? Look at how it's down on its belly. Yes, yeah, so I thought it was Shongile. She is very small, but with all the wetness around her nose, her nose looks much darker than normal. But look at her stalking along. Now, unfortunately, she's stalking right into Little Gauri, which is not ideal for us. But... As long as she sits maybe next to the road here, we might be lucky and we'd be able to then sit with her for a little bit. Now the impalas are probably about 20 meters to the south of us, um, and that's exactly where she is. And look at how she's just trying to keep low, so even though she's not been that successful with bigger animals, you can see it's not for lack of trying. So she's really trying hard to get herself into a position and to be able to stay nice and low. See, she's keeping her profile down and look at those spots, how they just blend in to this environment as she starts moving along and see how careful she is with her paws. She's trying to put her paws in all the right places. Now, unfortunately, she's gonna go behind a little bush here. So I'm gonna just roll forward slightly just so we can keep contact with her because otherwise we're going to lose her quite quickly in this long grass. But I've actually lost her already. I oh, know there she is. You see her there. So she's there. There we go. You can just see the back of those ears. So you can see the prominent black markings and white on top. That shows us that this is a leopard and this is how they follow each other through the bush when they need to see their mom or to try and follow one another. They're able to use those marking on the ears. Isn't that amazing? Now, aren't we so lucky? Like I said, it was a very long shot to come out here and to be able to see if we could find these, little, well, one of the cubs, and luckily we have. Now, I wonder if Hosanna is not somewhere close by. It's a good sign that she was on our side and she's now going southwards just hunting these impalas. Maybe she's going to come back, but it could mean that maybe Hosanna is somewhere around Tundams because we're between Tundams and um, the quarry which is their sort of favorite haunt so I wonder if he's not lying at Twin Dam somewhere so I'm definitely going to check there if she disappears into the long grass but what I'm hoping is that maybe these impalas sort of move back towards our side and we'll be able to then follow her on our side but isn't this incredible so exciting to see her again and she's looking so good the last time I saw her she looked a lot skinnier than what she does now now she's looking a little bit more sort of fuller I wonder if she's not had um, a few terrapins for meals and maybe a few scrub hairs and conditions like this evening are going to be perfect for her to hunt so I reckon that this is a good time for her to be trying to follow these impalas. But isn't that amazing? Look how she's listening. She'll be using that incredible eyesight to be able to determine her environment around her. Absolutely incredible. And I cannot tell you how quiet it is tonight. I think because of the storm, a lot of the birds are not singing like they normally would at this time of the day. It is eerily quiet. There's the odd cricket that's calling, but other than that, it is really very, very, very still and silent. There's a little bit of a breeze blowing, but it is perfect, perfect conditions for a leopard to hunt. Hmm, Cedar Point. This is an interesting one because I think it's quite subjective to eat to any sort of individual but you want to know what the air smells like. Well I can tell you that it smells like after you've had rain you get that rich earthy smell that comes out and that's what it smells like at the moment. I don't think we've had any time for any fragrant flowers to grow or anything like that but it just smells earthy and rich and you can smell the moisture in the air. And as I say that little Shongile is now disappearing into the shadows of the night and 
deeper into little Gari. Now, I'm not sure we're going to be able to keep visual of her. I think she's going to disappear. So what I might do is just go down a little bit and just see if maybe we get lucky with um, Hosanna. That could be somewhere close by. And if not him, then I'll come back into this area and see if maybe she pops back out onto the road again. Like I said, you never know. Maybe she's going to sort of have no luck with these impalas or she abandons the hunt and then comes back onto the road and we'll be able to get a better visual of her again so i think what we're going to do is just carry on now because like i say i've lost visual of her completely i can't see her at all but isn't that exciting what a way to finish the afternoon we're very very lucky to have bumped into her at the perfect time so it just shows you how important it is to actually stop when you see impalas and to look around because had we not sort of gone very slowly through those impalas we might have driven right past her and not even known she's there so really really exciting way to finish the day now we're going to carry on and see what else we can find as i said and while we do that let's go across to ellie and see if she's had any luck with her lions